Well, this is the moment of truth, isn't it? Isn't that what they call it? Your truth is nothing but a lie. Oh, yeah, shall I let you go then? Hey, a few days ago, you know, I might have just done that. I might have said, good riddance. Why would I want to save your miserable bloody life, eh? Oh, no, we're nearly here. We're nearly here. Easy. Easy. Playing a miserable game. Yeah, there you see, that's proof of my parenthood right there. Total ingratitude. So insane. Oh, God, go easy with that, lad. I'm told that such things run in the family. Why'd you do this? Why? Would you take pleasure out of torturing me? Would you think it give me any joy to know that I'd sire the policeman? Stop this. Why on earth would I wish to invent such a story? I was as confounded as you were when I first read the letter. What letter? Letter from your mother to your father. Oh, Spencer, I should say. All right, where'd you find it? I was paying a social visit to Victoria. As it so happened, she was out. Well, I, I noticed a, a large box full of memorabilia. It belonged to Spencer. Letters and knickknacks, oddments, that sort of So you broke into my house? As I understood, you'd moved out. Anyway, the letters... We're in a familiar hand. And they were signed Justine. That's my mother's name. I once knew a woman with that same name. So what there are a lot of a lot of women named Justine. Not like them. My Justine. There's a passion in my life. I don't know to this. My mother and my father adored each other. Sometimes, as you well know, that's not enough. Damn you, Carl. Damn you to hell. My Justine was beautiful, but incredibly so. She's tall, elegant, style, manners, a lady. You've lost your mind. My mother was faithful to my father to the day she died. There was a wildness in her. And the most wonderful, mischievous twinkle in her eyes. You have her eyes, do you know that? Do you? Hasn't your father ever told you? I don't have to listen to this. What are you doing this to me for? Look, I've kept these memories sacred, and I didn't want to disturb them, but now... Now everything's changed. Oh, has it? Yes, I knew her better than anyone. Better than anybody. There was something earthy and gutsy about Justine. But beneath the refinement, just beneath, was a constant battle where she tried to squelch some, some inner rebellion. Rebellion? Yes, rebellion from her, her nice life, her real life as she called her. She, I didn't know much about the other side of her life, except that she was unhappy. Very unhappy. So she used to come to me for adventure. Oh, and you were her adventurer. I loved her. She meant everything to me. She used to come up to the city to work as a writer. I only ever knew her by her pen name, Justine Kirkland. Oh, my... I used to stay at the Grand Hotel. I don't think that she intended to get as deeply involved with me at the beginning, but... Well, passion just drove us both along. My mother never cheated on my father. Is that what you believe? Or is that what Spencer told you? The letter I saw was from Justine to Spencer. The letterhead on the stationery was from the Grand Hotel, dated the spring before you were born, the very spring that she and I found each other. Shortly after that, without any warning, she disappeared from my life. 
And now I know why. Because she was pregnant. And somehow Spencer found out that she was carrying a child. But it wasn't his. No, it was mine. <laughs>